Hi everyone, it's Keith here, admin and finance officer at Youth for Christ. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome to day two of Exodus week. The portion of scripture I'm looking at today is Exodus chapter 3 and Exodus chapter 4 up to verse 17. We pick up the story where Moses is out tending sheep in the desert. He drives the sheep across the desert and he comes to a mountain called Horeb, which is the mountain of God. When he gets to the mountain, something happens that a lot of us will be familiar with. He sees a burning bush. Now in the scripture it says the angel of the Lord appears in the flame of the bush and the fire was not actually burning up the bush. Moses notices this and he goes over to have a look at the burning bush. As he gets close to the bush he hears this voice shouting out Moses Moses and Moses goes here I am. The voice says don't come any closer take off your sandals because you're on holy ground. And the voice says something that we hear three times in this passage it says I am the God of your father the God of Abraham the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob and Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look. This was God speaking to Moses and God had seen the misery that his people, the Israelites, were going through. And basically he was coming down to rescue them, to deliver them from Egypt and take them to what the Bible says as the land of milk and honey. God says to Moses, I'm sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people out of Egypt. And Moses is straight back at God with his first question. He says, God, who am I to go to speak to Pharaoh? God says to Moses, don't be worried. I'll be with you. I want you to bring the people out and to worship me on this mountain. Because remember, this was Mount Horeb, the mountain of God. Then Moses comes back with another question. But he says, suppose I go to the leaders of the Israelites and tell them that the God of your fathers has sent me to speak to them. And they ask me what your name is. God says to say that I am who I am and tell them that I am has sent you and to say that this is my name forever and it will be remembered from generation to generation and God reminds him he says I am the God of your fathers the God of Abraham the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob just tell them what I've told you and then God wants Moses and the elders to go to Pharaoh and say that God has spoken to them and he wants them to take the Israelites on a three-day journey to offer sacrifices to God God knew that Pharaoh wasn't going to let the people go and he says to Moses I'll do something to them to make them let you go but also when you go I'll make sure that you leave with God and silver that the Egyptians have given to you. Moses asks another question. He says, but what if they don't believe me or listen to me? God says to Moses, what's in your hand? And Moses has a staff in his hand. God says, throw it on the floor. So Moses throws the staff on the floor and God turns into a snake and Moses is obviously scared. God says, grab it by the tail and Moses grabs the snake by the tail and he becomes a staff again and he picks it up. God says to Moses if you do this in front of them then they will believe that you've been sent by the God of their fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. There's that description God's saying again. God says to Moses put your hand inside your cloak so he puts his, his hands inside his cloak and then takes it out again and it's covered in leprosy and obviously this is really shocking to Moses but God says put your hand back in your cloak puts his hand back in, takes it back out again and it's fine again. God says to Moses show them that sign if they don't believe the first one and then he says to them there's a third sign if they don't believe those two take a jug of water from the Nile and pour it on the ground and when you pour it on the ground it will turn into blood. Then Moses says to God but God I'm not a good speaker. God says to him don't worry Moses I'll be with you and I'll teach you. Then Moses asks a fifth question and it's the one we probably ask. He says God could you send somebody else instead of me? God gets angry at this point and he says to Moses to take his brother Aaron because Aaron's a good speaker. He says, you tell Aaron what to say and he will say it for you. God says to him, now go and take your staff with you to use as the miraculous sign. And that's where we leave the scripture for today. You know, the thing I really like about Bible stories like this is although they're in the Old Testament, they're still relevant today and we can still learn things from them. God chose to speak very clearly and dramatically to Moses in, in this story and he asked him to do something for him. And Moses questions God five times. One, who am I to go? Two, suppose they don't believe me. Three, what if they don't believe me or listen to me? Four, God, I'm not a good speaker. Five, God, please send somebody else. And if we're honest, I think a lot of us in that position, including me, would probably say that too. And if God asks us to do something, he will often give us directions or sign of what to do. He'll give us something to help us. And God in this story gives Moses three things. He gives the sign of the staff and the hand and the water. Now when we're talking about hearing God speak to us, what do we really mean by that? It's not an easy thing. In my own experiences, I think God can generally speak to us in three ways. When we're praying, when we're quiet and just sitting listening to God, he can speak to us through something we read in the Bible. Sometimes he can speak to us through somebody else or other people. Now because of this, it's important that we do read the Bible and understand the Bible because when God asks us to do something, he'll never ask us to do something that goes against what the Bible teaches. And it's also not wrong to ask questions and to check if, and to be sure that it is God who's actually speaking to you. We're not 
saying that Moses was wrong to ask questions. We were saying that Moses was human to ask questions. And remember when God was speaking three times he qualified himself to Moses with who he was. You know I'm the God of your fathers, I'm the God of Abraham, I'm the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. So he was making sure that Moses and everybody who was going to speak to knew who was actually speaking. So that's today's scripture and it's all about God speaking through us and to us. Don't be disappointed or think you've failed if you don't feel God's saying anything specific to you. Sometimes God can say very small things to us or very large things to us. The important thing is we're always open to hear from God. Are you always ready to hear from God? Are you looking for signs and confirmation that it is God speaking to you and not you thinking something or somebody else trying to share something with you? And I realise a scripture like this might bring all kinds of questions and thoughts to your mind. So don't forget on Friday this week at four o'clock on Instagram, Kweku and Amy are hosting Life Words Unpacked. During this time, they will be talking about the videos that have been made and shared this week, but they'll also be there to answer your questions. So if you've got any questions on God speaking to you or how does God speak to us, please ask them then. And don't forget, if you want to watch any of our other videos, they're all on our YouTube channel, so please go and check them out and subscribe. You can also leave questions and comments below if you want to ask them, which Amy and Quaker will pick up for Friday. And each week we do prepare Bible study notes for, for a youth group that can be done via Zoom. So if you're interested in doing that with your youth group at your church, ask your youth leader to go to our website and download the leadership notes, or if necessary, they can contact Quaker. But that's it for today, guys. Stay safe. God bless you and we'll see you soon.